this is the last uh, challenge uh, that we're going to have um, in this laboratory exercise. It's actually test uh, our understanding of this um, extended precision technique of using um, uh, addition with carry and subtraction with borrow. So let's go back to our empty project right here and we can start uh, doing some coding. So step number one, we're just going to take uh, these uh, data and uh, store it in our uh, initialized data segment. So what we have here is that notice that we have two operands, uh, operand one and operand two, and they're quad words. So these are 64-bit numbers, two 64-bit numbers with some um, uh, specific uh, um, uh, binary patterns. Uh, so these are uh, two 64-bit numbers. So we need to write the program here in our, uh, I suppose so we can use our main procedure, uh, to compute the sum of the two 64-bit integers. So the challenge is to add these two together. Okay, and then, uh, of course, uh, um, because there could be um, um, uh, there could be the result that the, uh, that could could overflow, uh, will actually store uh, store the result as a 96-bit sum. Okay, so we're going to add this plus this and store it not as quad word because these, these two are 64-bit um, values. But this value, the sum, is made up of three 32-bit memory locations. So this is 96-bit sum. So we're going to uh, say this plus this and store res result here. So let's work on this first part uh, at the beginning. Okay, so that's my comment right here at 264-bit numbers and store the result as 96-bit sum. And uh, what I am thinking uh, could be possible uh, would be this, I think. Uh, we could use our uh, general purpose registers as follows. Essentially, to do the addition, we have to manipulate individual chunks, which are 32-bit. And so we have essentially um, this 32-bit right here and uh, this 32-bit. So what we can do is uh, maybe uh, store the low bits in register EAX, right? So just store this in EAX and store this in EBX, possibly, right? EBX. Then um, we can also take the second operand, also two parts right here, and store them as ECX, right here, store this part into uh, ECX, and this part into EDX. And then I'm thinking that we begin uh, our, our computation of the sum. What we can do is that we can just normally add these two registers together thinking that these are two 32-bit numbers and store the result in EAX, right? So add them together and store result back in the register EAX. Then, of course, if there is an overflow, the carry flag will be set and we don't lose anything. This is our extra bit. So then we can add the highest, uh, the higher part as uh, using add with carry and also incorporate the carry flag right here. And guess what? The result of this second part of addition is that we again may have a carry out here. So the carry flag will be said one more time, right? So, and then, so what we can do is that because we have the sum, which has uh, uh, basically uh, three, th uh, three um, double words right here. So we can store the, lo the low part over here. We can store the higher part over here. And the remaining carry flag we can store right here uh, with all zeros in front of it. And so that should give us the, uh, uh, the 96-bit sum. 
So let's just uh, go ahead and do do this. It's actually going to look um, not um, not so bad in the code because uh, when you uh, think about all of these possible uh, steps here, it uh, begins to look a little bit overwhelming. But uh, the CPU instructions will break it down uh, very nicely to uh, just uh, individual steps. So these are the instructions that I think can be helpful. If we try something like this, okay, so um, uh, let's take a look at this. And uh, so, like I, uh, like I said, uh, uh, let's uh, um, take low bits and store them in register EAX. And I'm just talking about operand 1. And for the higher bits, they will be stored in op plus 4, op 1 plus 4. So we lo load it into another register. We're going to do the same thing with the second upper end and register ECX for the lower bits and EDX for the higher bits of this uh, crazy, uh, crazy values that we initially stored uh, in the 64-bit uh, uh, memory locations. So now we add lower parts. EAX plus ECX. So we add this and this. And of course, the carry flag will be set over here. And then the higher parts here in here, we add with carry. And now we have the result of this in EAX, EBX, and also possible carry flag. So now the challenge is to take this, this, and the carry flag that could have been set as a result of this in this 96-bit sum, which is made up of three double words. So what do we do? We just go ahead and store the low bits. Then we go ahead and store the high bits. And this is going to be, uh, again, so the, the important thing is to remember uh, where to store the parts. Because if this sum is made up of um, right here, right, so this whole thing is made up of um, um, uh, three uh, double words, altogether 96 bits. And we recognize something like low bits. Where the low bits go? The low bits will go into the lower memory, which is right here. So if this is uh, this block of memory with um, uh, 96 bits or, or three locations uh, like this, so we store the low bits in the lower memory. Of course, we store the uh, higher bits that we computed right here. We store these higher bits into the middle section right here and finally the carry flag we can compute as zero plus whatever is already in this memory and add carry so basically what happens is that the carry flag will be stored in this portion right here and as a result we should be expecting that uh, um, everything uh, can be continued to be used in future computations as this 96-bit size uh, integer. Okay, so this is just the trickiest part is how to compute the locations of these things. Because um, remember, in little Indian architecture, the low bits of some strange mm, extended precision numbers like this supposed to be stored in lower memory and then uh, the, the then the, the middle memory and, and the higher memory and so i'm just assuming that this is the the memory with the low memory address with the higher memory address and and the next one so let's see how this works um, uh, by simply starting debugging session uh, and uh, so notice that um, um, what uh, what we do um, uh, here in this example is that of course we remember to use add with carry uh, twice by the way when we um, compute the high bits right here we just remember to use um, add with carry and uh, the second time of course when we update the highest part of the sum so this should just work. It's just uh, sort, of, uh, so, sort of like a textbook example on how to do an operation like this according to 
uh, to the challenge, to the description of this challenge. It's pretty much this is one to one. How you do this, you do it. You can do it like this. So let's uh, start. Uh, first of all, let's build this and start debugging session to take a look uh, at the result. Okay. So what we can do is um, um, I can just uh, uh, start debugging session and um, uh, step into. Okay, so I'm just stepping into this. Um, and now I can just simply um, um, uh, run to uh, cursor uh, like this and uh, just basically just run to cursor, uh, right click here and say uh, run to cursor. Just make sure that uh, when you do this, just, just make sure that your cursor is on the line to which you're going to run. So right here, for example, uh, right click and uh, uh, run to cursor. Okay, so we just uh, did a lot of math and uh, I'm going to press F10. And so the sum should be all updated. Now, how do we find the sum? Uh, what we can do is uh, go to our, uh, first of all, we can look at the disassembly, but we can also use um, uh, debug windows, uh, immediate window, uh, right here, immediate window, which is uh, quite useful. And we can just uh, type here question mark address, which is an ampersand sum. Okay, so this symbol should be uh, recognized. All right, so right here, uh, this is the memory address, right? And so I just copy this memory address from here, and I go to uh, uh, another debug window memory to take a look at the actual memory, right? Memory one, for example. And uh, here, just uh, copy and paste what I got from the uh, immediate window. And this, uh, so now I need to be careful to grab um, basically three um, uh, double words. So this is uh, the first 32-bit, the second 32-bit, and the third 32-bit. Uh, so this all together, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 bytes. Okay, so... I hope I can copy it from here if I press and say copy and maybe I can paste this uh, somewhere in my code. Yeah, perfect. So, however, um, depends how you would interpret this. Of course, um, this um, double word sum um, uh, should be, so this is basically uh, um, this is the, the highest bit value. This is the middle portion, and this is the lowest bit uh, value. So we actually need to be able to, uh, if we want to go from, um, uh, this is um, little Indian, uh, little Indian storage order, right? But if you'd like to, uh, pretend that this value was loaded into a 96 uh, bit size uh, register in memory, we have to do some uh, reversal of this. Uh, for example, uh, we would have to take, so let's start with the lowest part, because this lowest part came from this lowest memory, and the memory goes up this way. Right, and then these memory locations go up and up and up and up. So this is the lowest memory location, and this is the lowest part of this 96-bit uh, crazy number. Uh, so, <clears throat> so this is the lowest one. So I'm just going to copy it, and I have to reverse it. Right. So I just because this little Indian order, this needs to be. This is quite painful. Uh, to reverse it. It's just like very easy to make a mistake, but this is uh, what it takes to um, just to imagine that this was uh, loaded into uh, the lowest part of our of our 96-bit um, 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 register. And this goes to the lower uh, lowest portion. Okay, so then we take the middle part and we do the same painful um, um, a rotation, right? So we have to uh, we have to do it like this. We basically have to reverse it again. Very easy to make a mistake. 
Okay, so uh, it's 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 a little hard to uh, to just make sure to verify everything. Uh, normally, I just visually verify it like this. Everything is like a mirror image, like twenty two uh, six two uh, um, uh, B and uh, C three, um, and uh, these numbers I already reversed. And finally, this portion. So this portion is like like the highest portion here, but also needs to be reversed. So all we need to do is just flip this uh, like this, and we should be done. So this is sort of like a a a um, um, hexadecimal uh, hexadecimal uh, value, right? So this is really the answer to this challenge. What is the sum? So we can say, okay, uh, this is the hexadecimal result of adding these two hexadecimal 64-bit um, integers. And this is actually a 96-bit size result. Uh, 